The Shroud of Turin has captivated the world for centuries, shrouded in mystery and controversy. But what if the key to unlocking its secrets lies in the bloodstains found on its fabric? In this video, we delve into the latest research on the blood type and explore the implications of this intriguing discovery. Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today we're exploring one of the most fascinating and debated relics in history, the Shroud of Turin. For centuries, this cloth has sparked intense discussions among scientists, historians, and religious believers. Some say it's the burial shroud of Jesus Christ himself. Others believe it's a well-crafted medieval forgery. But no matter where you stand, there's one detail that might hold a critical clue, the blood stains on the shroud. What blood type was found on it? And what does that tell us? Let's dive deep into the science, the history, and the mystery surrounding the Shroud of Turin. So, what exactly is the Shroud of Turin? The Shroud of Turin is a long piece of linen cloth, measuring about 14 feet long and 3.5 feet wide. On this cloth is the faint image of a man who appears to have suffered severe physical trauma. Many believe that this image is that of Jesus Christ after his crucifixion. The first recorded mention of the Shroud dates back to the 14th century in France. However, some researchers believe it could be much older, possibly even dating back to the first century. For Christians, the shroud is a deeply spiritual artifact. They believe it could be the actual burial cloth that wrapped the body of Jesus after he was crucified. This belief is based on the gospel accounts of Jesus being wrapped in linen and placed in a tomb after his death. However, not everyone is convinced. The shroud has been at the center of controversy for years. Some scientists argue that it's a medieval creation. In fact, carbon dating tests conducted in 1988 dated the cloth to somewhere between 1260 and 1390. This result led many to label it a forgery. But that's not the end of the story. Other researchers argue that the carbon dating might have been flawed. They say the tested sample may have come from a section that was repaired in the Middle Ages. If that's true, the results wouldn't reflect the true age of the cloth. So we have a relic that may or may not be 2,000 years old. But regardless of its age, it holds clues that are worth investigating. And one of the most compelling clues? The blood stains. Now let's talk about the blood. If this cloth truly wrapped a human body, there should be evidence of bodily fluids. Over the years, scientists have examined the reddish stains on the shroud to determine if they are, in fact, blood. In the 1970s, a group called the Shroud of Turin Research Project, or STIRP, began a detailed scientific investigation. They used advanced equipment and techniques to study the cloth. Their findings confirmed that the stains do contain real blood. One of the key members of STIRP, Dr. John Heller, concluded that the stains are human blood. He worked with Dr. Alan Adler, a biochemist, who determined that the blood was not just any blood, but very old human blood. In 2018, a team of researchers led by forensic scientist Matteo Barini and chemist Luigi Garlaschelli performed experiments to test whether the blood patterns matched what we would expect if a real body had been wrapped in the cloth. Their findings raised questions about whether the stains were consistent with a crucified body. Some argued the patterns were too clean or too precise. But whether or not the stains match expected blood flow, one key fact remains. Tests have confirmed the presence of blood. And this leads to an even more specific question. What blood type was found on the Shroud of Turin? According to several studies, including those conducted by forensic pathologists and hematologists, the blood type found on the shroud is AB. This type is rare and is considered the universal recipient in the ABO blood group system. What makes this particularly fascinating is that AB blood type is found in only about 4% of the world's population. Even more interesting is that AB is the only blood type that has both A and B antigens on the red blood cells but no antibodies in the plasma. Why does this matter? Well, the rarity of AB blood adds to the mystery. Some believe that the man on the shroud must have been someone unique, possibly someone divine, to have had such an uncommon blood type. For believers, this adds weight to the idea that the cloth once wrapped Jesus Christ. 
The presence of AB blood type on the shroud is not just a religious curiosity. It has scientific implications too. AB blood type is also the most common blood type found in ancient Jewish populations, according to some historical genetic studies. While this doesn't prove the man on the shroud was Jesus, it does align with the theory that the person was a Jewish male from the Middle East around the first century. But how reliable is this blood type finding? The problem with analyzing ancient blood is that it's extremely degraded. Over time, the proteins and DNA in blood break down. Contamination is also a huge concern. The shroud has been handled by many people over the centuries, which makes it difficult to extract uncontaminated samples. Despite these challenges, researchers have used a variety of methods, including serological tests and immunological markers, to determine the blood type. Most of these studies agree on the AB classification, although some critics argue that these tests may not be fully accurate due to the sample conditions. So what does all of this mean? The discovery of AB blood on the Shroud of Turin adds another layer to the mystery. It doesn't conclusively prove that the Shroud wrapped Jesus, but it does open up fascinating possibilities. The debate about the Shroud's authenticity continues. Some experts point to the blood type as supporting evidence for its origin, while others caution that blood type alone cannot serve as definitive proof. Still, the AB blood finding is compelling, especially when considered alongside other evidence, such as the presence of pollen from plants native to Jerusalem, and the image itself, which shows wounds consistent with crucifixion. Looking ahead, scientists are continuing to explore the shroud using newer technologies. DNA testing, for example, could reveal more about the individual wrapped in the cloth. Is it possible to extract ancient DNA that has not been contaminated? Could this DNA tell us more about the person's ethnic background, health, or ancestry? We may be on the verge of new discoveries that could further our understanding of the shroud. Researchers hope to use next-generation sequencing and other advanced methods to analyze microscopic particles, including any remaining blood cells. In the end, the Shroud of Turin remains one of the most puzzling and powerful artifacts in human history. Whether it is the actual burial cloth of Jesus Christ or a brilliantly crafted medieval relic, it continues to inspire debate, faith, and curiosity. As we uncover more about the blood type found on the Shroud, we gain not only scientific insight but also a deeper appreciation for the mysteries of the past. The story is far from over, and the Shroud will likely continue to captivate us for generations to come. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this deep dive into the Shroud of Turin, be sure to like, subscribe, and let us know your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think about the AB blood type discovery? Does it change your view of the Shroud? We'd love to hear from you.